<coughs> good morning and happy sabbath our god is good we have to appreciate god <coughs> for the sabbath that he has given us uh, this morning i want to give a short encouragement and a call on what we should think about forgiveness mostly and uh, when we think about god's prayer when we are about to finish the, Bible, uh, the the God's prayer, we say, "Forgive us our sins, or forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us." Or another fashion can say, "As we forgive our debtors." What does it really mean to forgive? I want to go to the book of Matthew. The book of Matthew. How serious forgiveness is. My topic for this presentation or encouragement is forgive and you'll be forgiven forgive <coughs> and you'll be forgiven sorry so Matthew chapter 6 Matthew chapter 6 verse 14 uh, this is after Jesus teaching the disciples the prayer Matthew chapter 6 verse 14 Jesus told the disciples for if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. I will repeat. For if you forgive your trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. I use sorry. I use the the Gideon's fashion, and I will read verse 15. It's a very serious comment or an encouragement or condition for salvation. But if you do not forgive men, but if you do not forgive men, listen carefully, their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. Brethren, if you are going to watch this short video, I want to encourage us that as human beings, people could have longed us so badly, but we really need to think about forgiveness. If you forgive someone, you could have saved a soul which was going to be destroyed by the devil. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, I want to appreciate you for this chance to speak for your, about you, to speak on your behalf. I'm just fresh, forgive my sins, and Father, my listeners, my friends, my brethren, my fellow people, as we tread in this journey, the short the narrow gate please father help us to have forgiveness in our hearts the bible is very clear in john 3 verse 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son father you forgave adam and eve and in general you forgave the whole world and this forgiveness you have given all of us that we should accept because the bible says in first john first john 2 verse 9 if you confess your sins your father our father is faithful if we confess our sins he is faithful and he shall forgive us we should not just say we cannot forgive help us to have that nature that mindset of jesus christ may you show us with your blessing this sabbath for your glory in jesus name i pray amen so brothers i want to dwell on the story of joseph and his brothers or i want to give a short background of who is joseph joseph is the 11th son of jacob jacob had 12 sons and jacob had two wives the first wife was leah and the second wife was Rachel. but joseph loved sorry jacob loved Rachel more than joseph more than rea and that's why at first, God closed the womb of Lecho for some time, but at least Lecho had two sons for Jacob. That is Joseph and Benjamin, the last born while, while she died after delivering Benjamin. So Joseph was the most beloved son to Jacob. And one of the, this love made Jacob to make a, a coat of many colors for Joseph. His brothers 
hated Joseph so much because one of this coat of many colors, two, they did many evil things in the field while they were uh, the feeding the flock or the, the flock of the sheep of their father. And this was not good to Joseph. Joseph being a, a, a good hearted son, Joseph uh, having followed the footsteps of his father, he always supported his brothers. And his brothers were not happy because they never wanted their evil deeds to be exposed. So number three, another reason why Joseph was hated by his brothers, because of his dreams. They called him a dreamer. But these dreams had a significance because one of the dreams, Joseph was always depicted to be a ruler. And we are going to see how Joseph, these dreams uplifted him because Joseph trusted God. So I want us to, having given the background of who Joseph is, these brothers hated him so much that they wanted to kill him. Now I want to give a, an introduction of how they plotted to kill Joseph. Genesis 39, Genesis 37, that's where we find the story on how they wanted to kill their brother. Joseph 37, Genesis 37, Genesis 37, verse 17. And the man said, They have departed from here, for I have heard them say, Let us go to Dotan. So Joseph went after his brothers and found them in Dotan. Now when they saw him afar off, even before he came near them, they conspired against him to kill him. So we can see these are brothers, brothers. They want to kill their brother because of dreams, because of short issues at home. I want to ask us a question. Are you want, do you want to kill someone? Don't think that killing is always physical. Killing can also be spiritual. You have your brother in charge because they surpass you in something, because they speak against what you do which is not right, you hate them. Hating someone without fault is killing. Please, as you listen to this video, if you have wronged someone, please go and ask for forgiveness. And you who have been wronged, take the first step. Because God loved us and come, came first for us. And that's why Jesus said, you did not choose me first, I chose you. Jesus chose us despite the fact that we repelled against him. So then they said to one another, that's verse 19 of Genesis 7. Look, this dreamer is coming. That is their brother. Come therefore, let us now kill him and cast him into some pit. And we shall say, some wild beast has befouled him. We shall see what will become of his dreams. Brothers, you can see how evil these brothers of Joseph were. Protein to kill their own brother and not only killing him, but going to their father to say a false uh, information that something killed them, uh, their brother. But Reuben had it, and he delivered him out of their hands, and said, Let us not kill him. So Reuben, at least, who is the first one, tries to deliver their own brother. And Reuben said to them, Shed no blood, but cast him into this pit, which is in the wilderness, and do not lay a hand on him, that he might des deliver him out of their hands, and bring him back to their father, to his father. So, among us, this brother, except Benjamin who was young and at home, the nine brothers, sorry, the ten brothers, really they wanted to kill their own brother. But Reuben decides to think twice. If we, why should we sh shed an innocent blood? The Bible is very clear in Psalms chapter 1, verse 1. Blessed is the man who blessed is the man whose counsel is not the counsel of the ungodly, who no stands in the battle of sinners, no sits in the seat of the scornful. Blessed is the man 
who does not follow the counsel of the evil tell me you are friends i tell you your character it is very clear that character is influenced by whom we associate with young people like me choose for yourself the right friends who will influence you if you are an academician in both academically and spiritual don't forget the spiritual aspect of our lives the bible is very clear of our purpose in this life if you are studying chemistry you are not studying chemistry for yourself the bible is very clear whatever you do do it with all your might that you are doing it to god so if you are in school god has placed you in that biology that chemistry that physics so that you can help people remember the ten commandments is divided into two love god and love your neighbor there is no self there if you give yourself to god and say help me in this chemistry so that i may refill and may give you glory and what is our purpose and that's why forgiveness comes in as christians so i really encourage us that these brothers plotted to kill their own brother and finally we know that they sold him to the traders who were who sold their own brother to silver that is to egypt but after selling their brother they thought that now that the game is over they thought that that is now final but to their surprise it was god's plan to deliver their own souls in the near future i'm not encouraging slavery but god i want to encourage you this way even people may plot to kill you people may do all harmful actions towards you and you may be seemingly that you are going to give up you are going to lose it you are just living away and you struggle i tell you my brother i tell you my sister continue serving god continue trusting god for instance you have made a choice to serve god on sabbath and your family <coughs> your family has rejected you continue god who is a god of possibilities these things which seem impossible to men god shall make a way another thing i encourage you people have done all sorts of evils they have conspired so much they have gone to witchcraft they have made diseases to come half an open and soft heart Stephen while he was dying he said in I want to see how much people forgive if you have Christ forgiveness is something that comes from the bottom of your heart while Stephen was dying Stephen was only stunned because of truth brother's truth is always not acceptable to people let us see uh, acts chapter 7 how Stephen was killed because of truth and when Stephen was be, was dying <coughs> i want us to start uh, to just give you a short a short description of why they killed Stephen acts chapter 7 verse 53 so Stephen is trying to explain about the love of god who have received the law by the direction of angels and have not kept it So he's talking about the Jews. He's talking about the Israelites. They received the law of God by the direction of angels. They received the word of God, but they never wanted to keep it, and that's why they killed Jesus, and that's why they wanted to kill their disciples, his disciples. When they heard these things, they were cut to the heart, and they gnashed at him with their teeth. These people closed their ears to truth. truth how many times have you been told that the dead cannot speak that the dead cannot come back but because you don't want to read the word of god it is very clear in the word of god god told jesus who was our god of the old testament told adam in toil you shall toil until you go back to dust but because we base our arguments in just one fast we want to uh, use the word of god to benefit what we, we want but brothers and sisters there are doctrines that are going to make us perish as forgiveness from god 
and the study the word of God and may the spirit of God continue showering us with blessings continue enlarging our minds so that we may understand that truly God gives wisdom whatever we don't understand he will surely open it to us so I want to encourage us that Stephen they did it cross their ears and but he being full of the Holy Spirit that is Stephen gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God that is verse 55 verse 56 to 60 and said look I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God then they cried out with a loud voice stopped their ears and ran at him with one accord brothers it is very sad do not be the first one to destroy the people of God do not be the first one to be against the judge of God do not be the first one to to be a rebellious person towards the truth the Bible is very please the Spirit of God is speaking to us of that today if you hear the voice of God do not harden your heart as it was in the day of the rebellion people repaired and they were rejected they never entered Canaan brothers it's very serious if it is so hard for you to forgive ask Jesus the Bible is very clear in Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens me I encourage us that without the Spirit of God these things we cannot do so let us ask God to give us his spirit so that so let us ask God to give us his spirit so that we can be able to do and obey what it is the Bible tells us Joseph uh, Stephen was being stoned and Stephen in verse 60 said then he knelt down and cried out with a loud voice Lord do not judge them brothers this is what I wanted to mark Lord do not judge them with this sin and when he had said this he fell asleep and when you read verse mm, 58 and they cast him out of the city and stoned him and the witnesses laid down their clothes at the feet of a young man named Saul if this if Stephen never forgave these people Saul whom we know as Paul could not have been saved brother you might be praying for your enemy and you are going to save many souls today we need the soul of Paul who was prayed among these people who killed Stephen another character uh, we see that Jesus while he was uh, crucified Jesus prayed for his crucifiers let us read the book of uh, uh, Luke Luke chapter 23 verse 34 Luke 23 verse 34 Jesus prayed for his crucifiers then Jesus said father forgive them for they do not know what they do and they defy the discernment and cast lots. how I pray today that God will give us the heart the mind of Jesus the mind of Stephen Stephen had the mind of Christ and when we read about the story of Joseph Joseph in the book of Genesis 39 after being sold let us now read what happened to Joseph just a, a brief introduction then I will give some summary points and I, I believe that God himself will speak to every one of us that we shall forgive and forget totally and pray for our en enemies pray for our persecutors and truly if you have wronged someone go and ask for forgiveness now Joseph had been taken down to Egypt that is being after sold and Potiphar an office of Pharaoh captain of the guard an Egyptian bought him from the Ishmaelites who had taken him down here that is Genesis chapter 39 verse 1 verse 2 the Lord was with Joseph and he was a successful man and he was in the house of his master the Egyptian brothers I told you in the book of Psalms blessed is the man who walks not in the hands of the ungodly but his uh, no stands in the path of sinners no sits in the seat of the scornful but his delight is in the law of the lord and in his law he made this day and night he shall be like a tree 
planted by the rivers of waters that gives fruit in this in, in this season and whose leaves sh shall not wither and whatever he does shall prosper brothers if you trust god the bible is very clear it is better to trust in god than to trust in men it is better to trust in god than to trust in princes forgive and you will be forgiven so joseph after being sold god made joseph successful and joseph uh, Pharaoh had two dreams and all these dreams was about 14 years seven years of uh, good and plenty seven years of famine these seven years of famine came and now it affected the whole world and his brothers were also affected and their father sent the uh, brothers to go nine brothers to go and buy food from Egypt this was the plan plan of Joseph Joseph trusted God and God gave him a position so that he saved many souls and let us read now what does Joseph tell his brothers now Genesis I want uh, I want to give the first point to forgive to forgive you see God and you set others free from bondage. Joseph saw what their brothers did as a God's plan to save their lives I will repeat to forgive you see God you set others free from bondage Joseph saw what their brothers did as God's plan to save their lives how do I mean let us go to the Bible and the Bible will speak of itself the Bible is very clear in the book of Genesis chapter 41 verse 16 now the, the the brothers are very scared that they have found their brother and he's going to kill them on revenge but Joseph told them this so Joseph answered Pharaoh saying sorry Sorry, but I will find the first that we should see God. So I want to read what Joseph told their brothers in Genesis 45, verse 5. Genesis 45, verse 5. Genesis 45, verse 5. So Joseph told their brothers this way that, but now. Do not therefore be grieved or angry with yourselves because you sold me here. Listen carefully, brothers and sisters. It's not easy. But now, do not therefore be grieved. Do not therefore be grieved. Do not therefore be grieved because you sold me here. For God sent me before you to preserve your life. Today I encourage you that. As Joseph had this heart, he had a, a strong connection with God, and Jesus is speaking through him that to forgive you see God. Joseph had already forgiven their brothers, and he saw that situation. It was God's plan. Whatever you pass through, your family may reject you. You may be rejected by your people, but remember, see God in that situation. Trust God, and you will see it through. Joseph saved their brothers lies from guilt he acted like jesus who came to save us from our sins in human look they never desired forgiveness but joseph did everything for goddess from goddess perspective so joseph acted like jesus point number two joseph assured his brothers over no revenge after their father died so again these brothers are very guilty their, their father jacob after seeing joseph he was relieved he was happy and he said now he can rest so after some time his father rested their father rested in peace and i want to read the, the last chapter of genesis chapter 14 chapter 15 
so uh, Genesis 50 verse 16 this is what they when Joseph's brother saw that their father was dead verse 15 they said this is a guilty guilt perhaps Joseph will hate us and may actually pay for us for all the evil we died we did to him you know human beings we forgive but we not forget or when we are guilty the guilt continues challenging us but remember if god has forgiven you he has truly forgiven you if you forgive someone forgive them completely and assure them that you are not going to do any kind of revenge and you are going to remain friends or whatever relationship in a, in a, in a better way so they sent the messages to joseph saying before your father died he commanded us saying thus you shall thus you shall say to joseph i beg you please forgive their trespasses of your brother and their sin for they did evil to you now please forgive the trespasses of the servants of the god of your father and joseph wept when they spoke to him imagine joseph wept he never saw it joseph had truly forgiven his brother he assured them again in verse 26 but as for you you meant evil against me it is but god meant it for good in order to bring it about as it is this day to serve many people alive i pray as i'm, I'm finishing that uh, even god is calling us today to acknowledge so that we acknowledge our sins let us see the character of joseph and the character of god himself in jeremiah jeremiah 3 verse 12 let us think about what do you think about joseph joseph had god in him and that's why joseph had the character of jesus himself so jeremiah 3 verse 12 god is asking us go <coughs> Go and proclaim these words to one the not and say that is uh, God or Jesus giving the commandment or the uh, command to Jeremiah of what to speak to the Israelites. Return backsliding Israel, says the Lord. I will not cause my anger to fall on you, for I am merciful, says the Lord. I will not remain angry forever. But as the brothers of Joseph asked for forgiveness, and even Joseph was ready, there is one condition of forgiveness from heaven. Forgive and be for forgiven. And our forgiveness also is from verse 13. God is telling us, only acknowledge your iniquity, that you have transgressed against your Lord your God, and have scattered your charms to iron deities under every green tree, and you have not obeyed my voice, says the Lord. Return. O backsliding Israel, says the Lord, for I am married to you. I will take you one from a city and two from a family, and I will bring you to Zion. Happy Sabbath. It's my hope that you have enjoyed this short description. The first point was to forgive you, see God. See God, brother, in forgiveness. See God, sister. Forgive that person who did all those evil to you. Be ready to ask for forgiveness, even if you are the one who was wronged. Joseph saved his brothers of guilt, and I believe God was happy with Joseph. It is a godly character. That's my last point. It is a godly character to forgive, and ungodly to hate and never forgive. Joseph loved his brothers even after his father's death and finally brothers and sisters true love forgives god gave christ we sin again and again even when the son went to heaven he is still in the most holy place praying in the seating on our behalf i encourage you today give your life to christ 
The Bible is telling us in the book of Joshua, I give the last call, Joshua 24 verse 15, the Bible is saying, Joshua is telling the Israelites, and even to us, and if it is evil to serve, and if it seems evil to serve the Lord, choose for yourselves this day whom you shall forgive, whether the gods of the, um, the gods which your fathers worship on the other side of the liver, or the gods of the Amorites in the same land that you dwell. But as for me and my family, we shall serve the Lord. How I pray that today, as the Bible says in the book of Hebrews, chapter 3, verse 15, Hebrews 4, verse 7, today, if you hear the voice of the today says the Spirit, if you hear the voice of God, do not harden your heart. Let us pray. I believe you are going to forgive. I believe if you have been wrong, you are going to ask for forgiveness. I believe if you have wronged someone, you are going to reconcile. Thank you so much. Be blessed. Let us meet each other in the next time. Please, this is my new channel. Subscribe to it and may God help you. Let us have God. Let us spread the gospel in any way we can in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, I appreciate for the message of forgiveness. Help us, Father, to understand that if we do not forgive, we shall not be forgiven. Give us a soft heart. Give us a new heart. Let us be ready like Joseph to forgive our brothers, to forgive our brethren. Anybody who has strong that, even if Father, you forgive us, let us be ready. I believe you are going to help us. Be with us the rest of this Sabbath. May your glory be seen in Jesus' name, I pray and believe. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the, of the Holy Spirit be with us now be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you so much, brothers and sisters.